so i'm going to sell uh how much am i going to say i'm going to say hundred dollars let me say hundred dollars and let's see how it works so i am on my funding then i can click on my sell okay but if you don't want to go this this route you can still do the same thing p2p go to your buy then go to your p2p section and click on it so now i've taught you here already if you are if you don't know about this please go to my previous class and you will see how we arrive to p2p using this section but i'm go just going to stick here so click on sell once you click on sell this um, window is going to open for you just make sure you are on the p2p section because we are using the p2p and not the one click buy so we are using the p2p section so make sure you're on p2p so click on it and remember one thing i said you have to filter okay so hundred thousand naira i actually don't know um hundred dollars could give me more than hundred uh, thousand naira so I'm, I'm on sell okay we're also going to buy and we can see how it works but right now i'm on sell so i want to sell hundred thousand naira one one two three so now the system is going to automatically filter those who are below hundred thousand naira so if you are below hundred thousand naira um the system will not give me your 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 trade okay so let me see this one is selling four nine four four seven four let's see if someone sell higher than this person at 50. <clears throat> i think um um hundred thousand gives me more more money okay so i want to trade with this person remember it is important this person is online right now so i don't want my money to be hold i don't want the person to delay my phone so i'm going to check who is online and i can trade with the person right instantly so this person is online right now but i still want to go further to check the person's score to check the person's review if the person is legit so i actually don't bother about the good um the good reviews i want to look at the bad reviews so slow so i i don't bother with this one it's it's something i can deal with it's something i can deal with so go on ads i think his ads has closed okay so good his ad has closed he has sold out okay so i can now just do the same thing with everyone so that you can um so that you don't lose your funds so go back to my hundred thousand there okay so this person is online and uh check again it's important this person 30 it's nine treats slow delayed and uh okay good i'm okay i can actually trade with the person so sell i want to say hundred. so you click on your sell then this window opens and i want to say hundred dollars i want to say hundred dollars and hundred dollars is going to give me one hundred forty nine thousand naira. so which bank do i want it i want it on this bank then click on sell okay in the next video i think i will show you guys on how to connect your um, account bank account to your trading um to your trading account so this person is requesting that I drop a drop phone number so that he can drop faster so i'm just going to go ahead and drop my phone number so send it to him so my phone number is being dropped for him so and i'm going to wait now he's giving me 29 minutes for the trade to go so i'm going to pause this trade because i don't know how many minutes the guy is going to take or the girl is going to take to actually send my phone this is one thing i need everyone to note this person can click on paid and i will have this section highlighted release now before i will release this phone for this person i must make sure that i've seen the money in my bank account so i'm going to use my phone to also show you people how i confirm before i can never lease the funds to the person so let's wait for the um, confirmation to start so if you can see this person has um the system says to me that this person has successfully completed the payment that means the person is waiting for me to release the coin to him so what do i do right now i need to check my bank account if the person has actually sent the money in my bank account before i can release the fund so let's check if the money has dropped in my bank account okay so this is my bank account i need to so if you can see i have successfully um 
um, the person has successfully credited 147,000 Naira into my account, which means I can see it right here in my balance and I can see it right here in my history. So I am good to go and I can now release the fund to the person. So we can now release the fund to the person. Click on the release and uh, confirm, confirm, then release coins. Then you'll be asked to put your, um, um, for some security code. So you have to put the security code. So for me, I'm going to put my Google security code. So which is what I use, 629152. Then the, the system will automatically release the token to the person. So if you can see, I've successfully been paid 147,000 Naira and worth, which is $100. So this is how you do your P2P sec, your P2P um, trading. If you can see, my balance has now changed from 320 something to 320. 21 so that's how you do the p2p uh, sell now we are going to do the buy at the same time let's run the buy um so let's do the buy so on buy i'm going to filter i just want to buy um three thousand naira okay two thousand naira worth of usdt so two thousand naira they're going to filter it then click on buy so i want to trade with this person then i want to buy 2000 naira worth of it click on buy then you have the system open right here and um, you have the person's payment platform so click on paid remember you have to click on paid before you go to your bank to make the payment so click on paid then i'm going to go to my bank uh, confirm you understand and you understand because you understand completely the transfer required leaving the platform and the buy bit does not automatically process the payment i confirm that i will pay blah 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 so yes confirm payment so the person's account number and bank details is still here so i'm i'm in my bank right now i'm making the payment eight nine is the person's account number eight nine three one five three one six five then i'm paying to pampi uh, i think i omitted something let me start again eight nine three one five three zero one six five okay good so I'm paying to Pompey. I'm still doing the payment, so I'm sending two thousand there. Sending two thousand there. So I'm sending to favor on me. So boom, I've sent it. Done so the money has been sent from my end so i'm going to wait for the person to now confirm the payment and release my token for me so i'm just we're just going to wait on the screen to wait for the payment i can also type um, tell the person i've paid so let's wait So the person still confirming that the payment has been made so once the person confirmed just like the way i did on the selling side just the way i confirmed that uh, okay i've received the token okay i've received my payment then the person released then i released the token to the person so the same thing i did is the same thing the person is doing if you can see the person has confirmed and the payment and the person has released my 1.3 dollars for me good so good confirm and uh, when you check my account it has now increased to 26 because that amount which is sent to me um that token you sent to me has been released now how do i not send the token when i go to my uh when i go to my account to my spot let me let me go to let me move to let me show you the same thing we did last time overview in overview i'm having 120 i'm having uh, need to, to load because it's more than there 
Okay, good. So on the overview, I am having 126. It should be 126. The system should be should load that. Okay, sorry. I know why it's I know why it's down because of um, the trade which I'm on. Okay, so it should be 100 and um see on the on the funding, on the funding it was 50 dollars plus the one point something which I got from the person. So so that's this is where the money is. So I need to move this fund away from here into my spot trading because that's where I want to trade it from. So click on transfer. See the transfer right here also. So click on transfer, and. Uh, click on funding so you need to just switch this over from fund from funding to spot so i want to move the money here to my to my spot so confirm and there you go so the money is no longer on spot it's no longer on funding i don't have anything on funding again this has to refresh you're good so everything now is on my spot section it's not spot section if you can see what is here so the fund is now on my um spot section and uh, I can now go ahead and trade. So this is how you move your money from, from wherever to where you want it to be. See you in the next class.